All right, so it's Monday, um, start of the training day, so we're starting the video here. We were gonna film yesterday, but then Harry went for like a long bike ride, and obviously I couldn't record it, and then he had to run off the bike. So we just come back, finished the ride. It's actually really tough, um, especially in the heat. I'm not great in the heat, but got it done, and now we are uh, on the 8K run off the bike. So got him, put the bike away, Put my run trainers on straight out the door. Um, not any particular pace, just steady pace. So looking at maybe 445, 450 pace, 8k run off the bike just to get the feeling for it. Yeah. After that, it was just, I don't know, it wasn't really, just took it easy. It's now Monday, back into another training week and gonna hit it hard. At the moment we are traveling to Bath for a swim. Um, and may, there's a small chance that I'll be able to get in and film it, but otherwise I'll be like secretly filming from like the, from the stand. The, yeah, yeah, but we'll see when we get there. We'll try and get him in. Yeah. So unfortunately we weren't allowed to film because we didn't give them enough notice apparently, uh, which is a bit frustrating, but yeah, we still got into the swim <laughs> and it's a pretty hard swim session, but got it done. It's about five, five and a half K. So it's good. Yeah, you're pretty like full on at it to be fair. Yeah. So, uh, um, it's good like drafting long distance sort of stuff in the pool, which is always useful. And we we'll went for bolognese afterwards. Went for some lunch afterwards, and now we've got a smoothie, which to be honest, I should have had like straight afterwards, but I wanted the bolognese. There's not like a certain window that you should get it in, but mm. it's like the sooner the better, I guess. Smoothie. Yummy. We're gonna go home. We're gonna go home. Yeah. <laughs> hey, baby. Recently, I've found that, oh, well, not recently, actually, kind of ever since I've had the bike, not quite got on well with the saddle, but I've kind of made it work because I really had that much money to buy a new saddle. Um, although I did buy a new pair of wheels, but we'll skip. Priorities. Yeah, exactly. So this ISM saddle, I know a lot of people get on with them, and they are good, but I just find it really wide at the front, and you can see under here, I've even tried to pulling uh, the rails in with zip ties, which probably not recommended. So just to pull that in a bit. Um, but even then, I find the nose really wide and it's fine for, let's say 30 to 40K of the bike course, but for the rest, I find it really uncomfortable. Um, and if you're not in a comfortable position, then you're, you're not really able to put out as much power and whatever. Yeah, so basically what I've done is, um, Shout out to Will Crudgington, who's let me borrow his saddle. This is the, um, I don't know what it's called, Cobb 55 Joff. Um, been recommended this saddle by Will, says it's really good, and Mark Threffle as well. Uh, it's a little bit narrower at the front. Um, it's still a split nose saddle, and then it's more towards the back. It's almost like the same as a normal road bike saddle. So hopefully that'll be a bit better. We're gonna test that out over the next few days. And if it's good, then we will purchase one of these. So what we're doing now is swapping this saddle out for this one. And then I've got um, an hour and a half spin. Um, and I'll probably have to kind of tamper with the position a little bit, but hopefully it will be good. So it might look like there's not much of a difference with the saddles, but actually if you look closely, the, the front is very similar, probably a, pretty much about the same, but actually with the ISM, you notice that it gets wider very quickly. And this is the bit here that you're sat on. That's the bit that's causing discomfort. Whereas with the cob, it actually stays a similar width for longer. And that's this is where you're gonna be perched. So hopefully this will cause less discomfort. Also what I've done, um, because I've got a little bit of time before the next race. So I thought I'd try and look at marginal gains and like free speed as well. So. What I've done is I've brought the pads in, so they're as close in as they can be, so my elbows are really nice and tight together. And I've also brought the um, extensions closer together as well, so I really like um, the fact that I can rest my elbows here and my hands touch here. Um, and it means that what I can do is I can put pressure on the front of the extensions 
And what that will do is it will force me into the saddle so it will hold position. Because what a lot of people do is that they find that they're here and they're slipping forward on the saddle and that can cause discomfort. But if you can kind of get your hands together, put a bit of pressure there, then hopefully that will secure you in a good position. Uh, so we're kind of playing around with that as well um, to see if that if that helps out and to see if I can still hold the same power as well. But it should it shouldn't affect it too much. It's literally just bringing my my elbows in um, and my hands together, which which um, I guess should should help out with the aerodynamics. Yep. Yeah. So we have got an hour and a half spin, um, nothing crazy, just yeah, getting an hour and a half spin into the legs. Got the new saddle on, so I'm going to try that out. Um, I can guarantee it won't be right for the first time, so I've got my spanner in my back pocket so I can change it around. Um, hopefully I can find the position that's correct, but this ride's just about um, getting into a good position trying to find a position that works in the saddle and uh, spinning the legs out, loosening the legs before the gym session that we've got later on. Thank you. Uh, so Harry's got back from his um, little bike ride and now we're just going to pop out and get some dinner. And play some bangers as well. Yeah, which is just obviously... Like, I mean, we are cool. I, there's a need. You need bangers. I've heard the rumours. So, we're gonna get some food and then. Yep. And then we're gonna. Dad wants me to water the veg patch, so we're gonna do that. Mm. And then. Gonna do an hour a gym set, and we've got. Well, we'll do a separate gym video as well, because we've had a request. Yeah, we've yeah. had a request from Luke Campbell, so cheers for the request, and we'll get um, yeah. a gym video out to you shortly. But, um, yeah, so there'll be... We'll, well, we're doing that today, anyway. Yeah, we'll record that. So we will record that and get that coming out. Um, yeah, we'll see you then. Yeah. Cool, so we've had supper. Yeah, it was nice chicken, um, bacon, because bacon's good for yeah, me. Bacon is good for me. Um, um, and brown then, rice. Yeah, brown rice, obviously, again, high fiber, it just is good for your, it's better for your diet, like when you're normal training. Yes, yeah, so that kind of sums up the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah. Done um, the gym session as well. Yeah, gym yeah. session's done, so that'll be a video coming out for that soon. Yeah. Hopefully, if, um, we, if we haven't looked, yeah. I haven't looked at the phone. Yeah, so and that, that is okay. today. It's about, about half nine. Probably going to just try and chill now. Mm. Um, it's always nice to just chill a little bit before you go to bed. Mm, and yeah. then, um, yeah, tomorrow, same thing all over again. Boom. Yeah, except for um, except for it's a bit different, but yeah. yeah. So yeah. we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, yep. give it a like. Yep. Please comment. We always love to hear what you guys yep. say. And um, um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And and send the video to friends and family. Um, everyone. Yeah. Old school friends you don't talk to anymore. They're share, always interested. Share it on Facebook if you have the time. Old well, teachers. They yeah. Love it. Send it to all of your friends. Yeah, your dad. Um, um, send it to his his work colleagues, your mum's work colleagues. Your mum's best friend's pen pal from Australia. Yeah. Or like, yeah. Um, Cat. Send it to your dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well... Um, yeah, see you yeah, in the next one, we'll guys. see you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>